In the name of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. St. Joseph. There are many wonderful titles that we can give to good St. Joseph, whose feast day we celebrate on May 1st, St. Joseph the Worker. We also celebrate St. Joseph on March 19th, which is the solemnity of St. Joseph the spouse or husband of Mary. St. Joseph also has a prominent role in the time of Advent, as well as in the time of Christmas. And these you see highlighted in the prayer of the Rosary, specifically the Joyful Mysteries, the Annunciation, Visitation, Birth of Christ, the Presentation, as well as the Finding of the Child Jesus in the Temple. I'd like to highlight today one of the key roles of St. Joseph when he lived, but also now as he is in heaven with the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Mary, the angels, and the other saints. St. Teresa of Avila, who is one of the few women doctors of the church, says that St. Joseph is the patron of the interior life. What she means about this means by this phrase is that St. Joseph is the model and the inspiration for our prayer life. We don't have one word of St. Joseph in the Bible. His silence was very eloquent because by his silence he was able to listen to God. He was able to listen to the inspirations. God was able to speak to him. He listened very attentively. And he was very docile to God's message. More than once, St. Joseph received communications from God through the mediation of the angels. For example, when he's thinking about divorcing Mary because he sees her pregnancy and is that he does not know how how that has come about, the angel appears and says, Do not be afraid, Joseph, to take yourself, Mary, because that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Another one is when St. Joseph is called to get up and to flee into Egypt. The wicked King Herod had decided to kill all the male boys two years and under. St. Joseph received this message from the angel and fled to Egypt, thereby saving the life of the child and the mother. So let us turn to St. Joseph and beg him this special grace, that he, through his prayers, will help us to go deeper in our own spiritual life, especially go deeper and deeper in our own prayer life. Good St. Joseph, pray for us.